Hello everyone. In this video, we play around with this simple equation to find x minus 1 or divided by square root of x without using any calculator. But before we begin, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. So now let's get started. So first of all, I'll write this as x is equal to, this 5, I'll write it as 2 plus 3, then plus 2, then this square root of 6, I'll write it as square root of 2 times square root of 3. Okay, so here we have x is equal to, this 2 is the same as square root of 2 squared, then plus, this 3 is also the same as square root of 3 squared then plus 2 square root of 2, then square root of 3. Okay, I can rewrite this as x is equal to square root of 2 all squared, then plus 2 square root of 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 3 all squared. If you have square root of a plus square root of b all to the power 2 then you expand this gives us square root of a all squared plus 2 square root of a times square root of b then plus square root of b squared now comparing this one to this equation it means that x is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3 all squared okay now let's take square root on both sides so we have square root of x is equal to now square root to cancel this square so we have square root of 2 plus square root of 3 all right so now we are done with square root of x now let's find x minus 1 so here we have x is equal to 5 plus square root of 2 so i'll rewrite the equation over here x is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6. Okay, so x minus 1 is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6 minus 1. And this is the same as x minus 1 is equal to 4 plus 2 root 6. Okay, so now we have this. Let's go ahead and then simplify this since we are not using any calculator. So we have x minus 1 is equal to, then here we have 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2. And this whole thing is the same as this 4. Okay, now we have plus 2 root 2 times root 3. Alright, so from here we have 2 root 2 here and then 2 root 2 here as well so we can factor it out so we have x minus 1 is equal to 2 root 2 into root 2 plus root 3 and then from the problem you have to find x minus 1 over root x now we know x minus 1 and then we also know square root of x So here we have x minus 1 over root x is equal to x minus 1 is 2 root 2 into root 2 plus root 3 all divided by then root x is square root of 2 plus square root of 3. So as you can see this one will cancel this, so we are left with x minus 1 over root x is equal to 2 root 2. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please consider subscribe and also tap on the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.